Yeah, well, I think that it's tough one. I think everybody, every England supporter and every England player, everyone associated with the team is, is gutted right now. It's a game we should have won. Um, we're in a position to win. Multiple times in the game, we put ourselves in a position to go and win the game, and, and we didn't. I think ultimately when you, you turn over that much ball and make the game that unstructured against a team with, with that much pace, um, you're giving them opportunities, and we gave them far too many opportunities. Well, I think you, if you lose a world-class player early in the game, it, it certainly has an, has an impact. Um, Alex Dombrant came on and played really well, uh, but clearly the balance of the back row changed at that point in time. Um, you, we have to adapt to those things. We took a few uh, knocks and bangs. Uh, we had to change things in that first half quite early, and, and then that continued through the second half. Um, I'll be waiting for the full medical report and understand where everyone's at, but I think everyone saw the way Tom was down and he'll be unavailable next week. Yeah, well, I think if you look at what we've seen the last couple of weeks, this came within with the post of beating New Zealand last week. And so you say that the, the team played very well. Um, uh, in that sense, we came very close to beating New Zealand. And I'm not accepting that being good enough uh, because we wanted to win and we were in a position to win. And today, you see again the, the, the team, we talked about the team developing the attacking side of the ball, talked about the team... Been having the, the the confidence to move the ball, and I think you saw that today. I think you're seeing that with, with the team. One of the big challenges of the England team over a long period of time has been the, the weight of the shirt, and I think the players it, it's it's something we've, we've worked to develop, develop and move on from with this team. But clearly, there's consequences that if you turn the ball over that many times, you, you, you're not giving your defence much of a chance. Um, so we need to improve upon that. Um, I think you saw the way the players played with the ball in hand is to play with a with an endeavour and courage. Now, what we need to do is ensure that, and, and clearly you see this is a team that's got points. You know, the 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 are guys that want to move the ball. Um, the the challenge is understand the right balance with that. That if you if you give the op- opposition that many chances, is they're going to take some, and they took plenty today. Look, I think like fundamentally we're all we're all gutted with the result. Um, I think there are certainly elements of the performance that we're we're not very happy with either, um, and that's probably the thing that's the most disappointing. But um, at the same time, no, like I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's the easiest team that I've ever had to captain, and um, you know I, when we say we're going to go out and do something, we go and do it. And um, the way that people have brush themselves off this week to get themselves prepared and, and in a good way for, for the game today it was impressive um, and we're going to have to do that again this week so um, yeah we, we the message is that we're, we're very much believing in what we're doing we just need to make sure we keep pairing up the good bits and allowing ourselves to put pressure on pressure. No I think I think everything as ever with rugby everything's paired up so I think you know, you look at things, our attack in, at times looked brilliant. And, you know, as Steve has said, our endeavour with the ball is, was fantastic. But then when you turn the ball over um, in easy ways and the way that you give the ball to the opposition is important in Test Rugby. And um, the way that we did that today was through errors. And then it's loose and then it's unstructured. And Australia were very good in that respect. It's very difficult to defend off the back of that. So um, we, we're very proud of our defence. We massively believe in the system that we have you know I think there's going to be you know some clips that are difficult to watch back because we needed to be more physical and make our tackles more and if we do that then our defensive system becomes a lot easier the last one what's going to be the bounce back message next week there's some really good things to take out but there's some horrors as well what's going to be the bounce back message the bounce back message is how are we able to back up the good things with another good thing with another good thing. That's what Test Match Rugby is about. And we've got a fantastic opposition coming here to Allianz Stadium in South Africa, back-to-back world champions. I don't see it as a better opportunity. You know, it's we're going to get ourselves right. We're going to make sure that we're right physically. We're going to have a great training week. We're going to have a brilliant plan going into the game. And, you know, we're, we're going to believe in what we're doing. And, you know, if it is close in that game too, we're going to continue to play with Endeavour, play big and, and play to win the game.